So we should talk about uh, a little bit of background. So what we've been doing in recent classes is talking about dielectrophoresis. And the basic idea is that we have some sort of polarizable particle. And this uh, particle is polarized in the presence of an electric field. If we do a DC analysis of this, then when we do that DC analysis, we get a solution outside the particle, which is equivalent to that which we would get if we say, if we replace this particle with a dipole located at the particle center. <clears throat> when we do that, we get a solution for the net force on that particle. And that solution for that force on the particle, we wrote two lectures ago. All right. So we were able to write a solution for <clears throat> the force on the particle. Well, then we said actually that we could extend that. And when we decided that we were going to extend that, our argument was, well, if we combine together the charge conservation equation with Gauss's law for electricity, that we can turn that into a form where it is similar to Gauss's law for electricity in the case where there's no net charge density. So we were able to take del dot d is equal to rho e, and we were able to combine that with del dot sigma e equals minus rho e. When we put those two things together, we found that when we took the electric displacement d and we added that to the current sigma e normalized by j omega, when we sum those two things together, the divergence of those two things is zero. Now, saying that that was equal to zero was something that was important in the bulk, but is also useful at the interface. With the key thing being that if the divergence of these things was zero in the bulk, we could then apply a governing or a boundary condition at the interface. And that boundary condition at the interface was very simple. When we did that, we were able to solve for the dipole. This dipole we were able to find basically had a similar form. And the only thing that was different was that we had to use a complex permittivity rather than a regular permittivity. That allows us to come up with a formula for the expectation value of the force. So that's kind of where we are now. <clears throat> now, as we go on further with that, we'll be able to show additional things about this uh, process. We'll, for example, be able to show that we can take materials that are not just simple spheres, that have different shapes, that have different layers, and we can calculate um, the dielectrophoretic forces. But what I wanted to do today was kind of stop with the theory and give you some perspective on how these things could be used. And so that's the plan.